this into the sideboard here. He's our winner. He gets to talk as long as he wants to. Gentlemen, take it away. Welcome to the sideboard one last time here in Syracuse. I am Nick Miller alongside our standard open champion, Chris Van Meter. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate it. With a handshake it. comes a trophy. Number four for you. They used to make them bigger than this, yeah. but I'll take what I can get. You've been asking on Twitter all week, where are my dragons? Pretty sure you, you showed where they're at. I brought them with me. <laughs> You're no stranger to Stormback Dragon. We've I'm seen not. them all along, but now you got a new pal, Thunderbreak Regent here along with you. You finally decide to sleeve up Storm Breath again, you magically win a tournament. I know, right? I'm just a big dummy. Yeah. <laughs> so you wrote about the deck this week. Talk I about did. a little more in depth how you came to the build you have. Uh, well, I started with uh, Ross Merriam's deck from the Invitational, mm -hmm. and I realized that there were some cards in the deck that I wasn't too happy with, namely like Goblin Rabble Master, and I wasn't too thrilled with Surak. Right. So I wanted to play Ash Cloud Phoenix, and I wanted to play Death Mist Raptor. Uh, after talking with uh, S-Man a little bit about how he felt Corsair was actually really good right now, right. Um, I took a look at Seth Mansfield deck from that same Invitational, mm -hmm. which hasn't getting a lot of press because he went X2 right. and Top 16, but it's more of a bigger build with like Xenoghost and Dragonlord Atarka. And I played some games with his deck and I felt like it was really awesome, but Rabble Master again felt poopy. Right. So what we did is we just swapped in Corsair and it was great. And on the ride up here, uh, eight hours gives us a lot of time to talk about magic. Yep. Uh, Todd you know, was trying to convince me to play Karyatid instead of Rattleclaw Mystic. Uh, Anthony Lowry worked on the deck with me and came to the same conclusion independently, so we both realized it was probably just correct. And it's just been amazing all day. Like everybody is ready to Wild Slash Corsairs, yep. or Wild Slash Rabble Masters and Rattleclaw Mystics, and we just have creatures that don't die to Wild Slash or Lightning Strike. And, and you just, just didn't cast let anyone, all of our stuff. You just didn't let anyone do that to you. Yeah, they just couldn't do anything. By blogging, yeah. Steve Mann commented on your article. In the future, everyone's running just four Corsair in your deck. You, of course, adopted pretty early. Yep. Just beat people up, running their creatures into yours. Yeah, the deck was great. What's uh, What are the plans going forward? Just going to stick with it? Yeah, well, I'm going to stick with Stormbreath Dragon. I made comments around uh, the last time there was states that uh, I'm just going to play the best Stormbreath Dragon deck in each tournament. Kind of wavered from that again because I'm a big dummy, but I think I'm going to stick back to it. The deck's great. I'm not sure where I want to go, if it's going to be like the same big version or if I want to go back to something a little bit smaller. Dragonlord Tarka was fabulous. Oh, Xenoghost yeah. was you know, either a 10 out of 10 or just really terrible, so I'm not sure if that card still needs to be in the deck. Uh, but in general, this type of strategy is going to be great. You had some pretty memorable Dragonlord Tarka rips in this tournament. Oh, yeah. Talk us through the quarterfinal matchup. Todd's sitting over your shoulder, and you just windmill slam. Yeah. A Digimon card, as you described it. That's, a Yu-Gi-Oh card, yeah, so as you it's, described it. It's basically it. a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's like a 10,000 power monster. You're just special summoning it. Uh, it, was, it was real great. Uh, the board was pretty even. I, I, I felt like I wasn't too far behind had I not drawn the Dragon Lord, but it just sealed up the game. Like, it killed a Stormbreath Dragon and an Elvish Mystic, left him with no permanence, and I had, like, 10,000 power in yeah. play. So it was just over quick. Well, Green Red Aggo was the talk of the tournament. Most played deck. Your build in particular, you just dominated this tournament a fitting in to, to the tournament here in Syracuse. Congratulations Absolutely. one last time, Chris. I'm gonna send it back over to Patrick and Cedric one last time here in Syracuse.